I like the color blocking of this pair. I like the way that the phantom mesh breaks up the upper. You'll also find this lever on this little hang tag that you get with this pair. <laughs> Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Quick Scopes. Today we have the Air Force One, and this pair is in white, obsidian, fur, phantom. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to like, leave your thoughts, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ah, uh, yeah, purchase links for these in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot. So, yeah, let's start from the soles up. So we have an obsidian outsole with a little bit of speckle into it. We have a phantom midsole, midsole stitch, Nike Air and Strip. This also has speckle into it as well. And then we come to this upper. So this upper is composed of mesh and we have an artificial lever. And if we start from around the toe, this artificial lever graces this portion and the toe box both in white. You'll see that the lever, it feels okay, not the finest, but as I said, it is a man-made material. Going up the shoe, you'll see that the eye stay is composed of that same white material. And at the base of the eye stay, you'll see that we have a mini swoosh, B swoosh in that fur green. Above this, we have some phantom laces to the thickness that I like. These laces conceal a white mesh tongue. And at the top of this tongue, you'll see that we have a phantom tongue tab with obsidian and fur for the Nike Air detailing. If we take a look at the mid portion of the shoe, you'll see that we have a mesh panel, which is in phantom. You can see that phantom is slightly different to white. It's a more creamier color matching the midsole. And then we come to the swoosh. So the swoosh is a tumble effect leather material. Again, not genuine leather this is an artificial leather and it's in obsidian pretty decent it's similar quality to the rest of that leather effect upper the fox in is that same white material and the heel is that obsidian material again with that fur green for the nike air if we take a look inside the shoe you'll see that we have a white sock liner and we have fur green for the insole with the nike pinwheel in white let me know what you think of this pair for me not bad not bad at all I like the color blocking of this pair. I like the way that the phantom mesh breaks up the upper. As you can see, it just splits in the middle of that upper. Just gives them something a little bit different to look at. Again, this complements the midsole, which is also in that phantom. I do like that. And the obsidian bits work well on the swoosh, outsole and the heel. The material of this is one of the more interesting parts. As I said before, it's that artificial leather, but it does have a smooth, glossy-like finish to it. And it does feel like genuine leather, but it isn't. I've seen genuine leathers, which are of a lesser quality than this material. How it will hold up over time, who knows? But it does feel okay in the hands. You'll also find this leather on this little hang tag that you get with this pair. Very, very nice in that fur green, which we've seen implemented. A really cool, nice little addition to this pair. Lovely, I do like that. This shoe is a part of the Move to Zero range. As you can see, take a look at that, pause, read, um, take a look in the description as well for more shoes which are a part of this. Obviously Nike trying to reduce the use of new materials, use, reusing certain materials as well to construct these shoes. This pair is part of the Move to Zero range which means at least 20% of the materials are from recycled materials. As I said before, more information about the Move to Zero range, Nike's efforts in sustainability and more in the links below. Taking a look at the laces, we do have phantom laces in this one. Perfect in my opinion. You could swap them out to a white lace. I think that would work. Obsidian, I guess so. It would work, but I prefer a lighter color lace. So I wouldn't choose a fur green lace either. Let me know your thoughts. Remember, these are the only laces that come with this one. So if you want to do a lace swap, you can do from your lace box. This pair fits like normal Air Force Ones. Compared to other shoes, go down half a size. Let's check these out on feet.
all that being said, I give these a 7.5 out of 10. A nice pair, decent, clean, and it's good that it's got that sustainability factor. Purchase links for these in the description. Let me know your thoughts. I've been Scopes. Check out this review right here. Signing out. See ya.